Hi there, this is Kelly Van Washanova from ETS, and I'm going to show you how to create a repository of resources for your course. So I'm starting here at the My Denison page, and up in the top, you'll see you have different icons. This one is for Notebowl. Uh, this one over here is for Google Drive. So we're going to be using Google Drive and Notebowl to talk about this repository of resources. So first, go ahead and click on that Google Drive. It should take you to your My Drive. Now, yours might look a little bit different than mine. There is a different view right there. So I prefer the list view, so that's what I'm going to do for the demo. You also will notice over here you have My Drive and Shared Drives. Those are just different types of drives. So if you click the side arrow, you can expand the My Drive and see all of your folders. And the same with Shared. So what we are recommending for a repository of resources is for you to put all of your course materials in a folder in the Google Drive. And this would be any materials you would need access to. So that includes your own personal notes and things you might not be sharing with students, but that you want to have for teaching the course. And the reason we recommend doing this in Google Drive is because you can access Google Drive from any computer as long as it has an internet connection. You just have to go to drive.google.com or you can go through my Denison like we did today and you will have access to all that material. So we highly recommend doing this. So first I'm going to go ahead and click new to create a folder and when I click new you can see my options and I'll hit folder and I'm just going to name it my course so maybe I'm teaching W10102 whatever I want the name there to be and I'll hit create. Now what I do for my actual classes that I go in and assist with teaching, I will create folders and then I put the classes in there. That's just another personal preference. It's completely up to you how you want to organize your drive. So in my folder here, my writing course folder, I can go ahead and I can create new docs, sheets, slides, all kinds of stuff that would be Google files or I can upload them from my computer. You can drag them from the desktop and just drop them there. Or you can actually go to new, oops, sorry, go to new and click file upload. That would be individual files or you could upload an entire folder. So I'm going to click file upload, go to my demo, and I'm going to select both of these these two documents and click open. Now you can see that those documents are being uploaded and there they are. Those are a Word doc and a Excel doc. So if I open it, I can see that it is a Word doc. It, there's nothing on it, so it's just blank, but I can see that it is a Word doc. Now I can share these documents over to my students in Notebook as I'm ready to share them. So in order to do that, we will actually share a link to the document or the file that is in the Google Drive. In Notebowl, when you go into a course, you can see that you have a Documents tab. In the Documents tab, you can click Add and then Link. We're actually going to add a link to the Google Drive file. And again, the reason we encourage you to do it this way is because you can keep all of your course materials saved in that Google Drive to access from anywhere, anytime. You can reuse them from one course to another and they're always there instead of just having them in one single course in Notebowl that the students are accessing. So in, I'm going to switch back over to the Google Drive folder. Oops, sorry, I deleted something a minute ago. Uh, in the Google Drive folder here, and I'm going to share individual files one at a time. In order to do that, I will right click and then click this little share here, or you can go click on the little person right there. So right click, share. If you are really worried about people accessing the file and want to lock it down to only allow certain people go ahead and enter their email addresses here 
and make sure you choose if you want them to edit, comment, or view. But the easier way to do it is to click Get Shareable Link. And this, by default, goes to allow anyone at Denison University with the link so they can view the file. Most classwork and, and most things you're sharing with students, this will be the way to go. Um, so make sure you click Copy Link there. Now, if you want, you can make it to where they can edit or comment. And again, if you're super worried about access, you can turn this access off and only give it to specific names. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that link and click Done. Now that I have the link, I'm going back into Notebull. I'm going to click Add Link. Put the link up there and give it a title. I think I named it Demo Doc. And there are visibility settings that you can modify in Notebull. By default, it's public. You could also make it private to where only you see it, or you can delay the release to a specific day and time. So I'm going to make it public and click Create. So once I've created it, you can see the title here, and it has that little box with the arrow that indicates in Notebull that it is a link. It says here the type is external link, visibility is public, created by me on this date. I could go in and edit it if I change my mind and want to delay release. I can also click this little arrow here if I want to push it out to the course bulletin. And I could delay the release on the bulletin. When I hit share, you'll notice that on the bulletin now, it has shared it over there. It's still in the Documents tab, but I've just put it on the bulletin perhaps to draw attention to it or to make an announcement about it. So that is a simple way to create a repository of resources using the Google Drive and to then share those resources to students using the Documents tab of Notebook. Thanks for watching.